Hello everyone and welcome back to another fun shopping video. Today we're back in Goodwill and checking out the shelves for a little bit of home decor and for some items that I could possibly sell in my booth. So let's get started. I love to decorate with globes and this small desk sized globe was in really good condition. The only problem is that it was really light and cheap feeling and at $4.99 I decided to leave it behind. These candle holders had shells and just that Nautilus vibe going on and they were really in rough shape. You can't really tell on the screen as much as you can in person. This corn casserole dish could have been made by Shawnee. I'm not sure. There were no markings on the bottom, but it had a big chip on the very top of it right there. And I could not bring this home with me with the chip on it and try to sell it. So I left it behind. And this swan was very pretty. It had that gold beak and it was made in Taiwan. It had cracks on the bottom, but it just had a beautiful glaze. And this creamer, y'all, it was gorgeous. It had that Nautilus feel about it. It was a type of seashell. The maker's mark on the bottom, I read Bavaria, and it was just beautiful. Unfortunately, it had that chip on the spout. Here's another item with a chip, and it seems like I'm seeing lots of things with chips. And the way things are tossed around in Goodwill, it's not surprising. These candle holders were made by Indiana Glass. I thought they were good looking. I like the shape. It could be used for a taper or a pillar. And at 99 cents, they were a great price. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be used for. It had a boho feel to it of course, chips, and it was $5.99. Love you to the moon and back is a phrase lots of people are saying these days. This little sign was only 99 cents. And that phrase originated from Guess How Much I Love You, written by Sam McBratney. This is a cute little souvenir piece from the Great Smoky Mountains. I noticed this box and it said the original floral seven. It is a flower arranger and all of these pieces are attached to one another, but it doesn't have a high resale value, so I left it behind. Look at the top shelves. Don't forget those top shelves. Look at this beautiful blue pitcher. It's made by I. Gottinger & Company. This pitcher was in wonderful shape. Y'all, there were no chips on this pitcher. At $6.99, it's a nice size, which is, in my opinion, well worth the money. Blue and white is really in this year, and I just really like the look of this pitcher. 
Next is the Hearth and Hand Collection Plaid Coffee Pot. I believe I found this once before in Goodwill. This one today was $5.99. It was really in good shape. I loved these bowls. I loved the basket weave. I love the images on the front. They're made by Faultsgraph. There were no chips on these bowls. They looked fantastic. I found these Crown and Ivy salt and pepper shakers in the box. They were adorable little pineapples with a gold top, but their price was $4.99 and I thought that was quite expensive for salt and pepper shakers. Look at these brown drippy saucers and bowls. I'm not a big fan of brown drip, and this one did not have a maker's mark on the bottom. And here we have this huge Santa's face. It really was lovely with all of the sparkles on the beard. And of course we still have Halloween decor out as well as the Christmas decor and that usually stays out all year long in my area. This little cutie caught my eye. She looked like a hobbyist piece. I think she had googly eyes, the larger ones. She definitely had some wear and tear, had been moved around a lot and lost paint, had a few chips here and there, but she did look well loved. And this bust was really eye-catching. It was definitely a Halloween decor piece. It was originally from Michael's, and I believe the price was $14.99. This was a great looking piece, to be honest with you. Something that would be stunning at your Halloween party or just in your Halloween decor at home. I saw this hand-painted bowl. It was gorgeous. Now, this bowl is made by the Mustard Seed Ceramics, which is a little shop down in Sumter, South Carolina. They hand paint their bowls and dishes with uplifting scripture. They are so beautiful. Then underneath the bowl, I noticed this Alaskan nativity set. It was made out of resin. It had the igloo with an eagle, a few different animals, and it was so cute. There were some nicer quality sets similar to this sold on eBay for $33, but I didn't see this one exactly. So I don't sell right now on eBay, so this would not have been a good pickup for me, so I left it behind. Hey, look at this cute little camper and it is a clock now camping is a big pastime here in South Carolina and this clock was made by Allen designs now it was supposed to have a pendulum a cute little red truck swinging back and forth the red truck was missing wouldn't this be fun in someone's camper
I always like to look at the Peter Rabbit, especially if it's Bunnykins. This was not Bunnykins. This was a Peter Rabbit planter or a vase by Teleflora. It had tons of cracks. And let's take a look at this mug. It was huge. It was a play ball mug by Bath and Body Works. And this nativity set, it was so pretty. Yes, it was made out of resin, uh, but it had that ability to light up the little star. It was really cute. And I wasn't sure if this brass pot was supposed to look like that on the bottom with that buckled in area. So I left that pot behind. I wanted to see what this was here. It turns out it was a candle that had already been used, but I did like the flowers on the front. And then I saw in the back a cute little creamer. Look at this. I love these individual creamers. It was only 99 cents. I see that false graph bowl back there. It looks like someone had moved it. And then I saw this white bowl. It's from Pier 1 Imports, $2.99. I really like the scalloped edges around it. Wouldn't this bowl be perfect for ice cream? The first thing that I purchased that I would like to share with you is this I Gottinger & Company blue and white pitcher. It is so beautiful and it is hand painted. I have decided to place this in my booth for resale and I'm sure it's going to get sold quickly. Next, I picked up this whimsical camper clock. It's made by Allen Designs and it is supposed to have a pendulum as you see in this picture here. This is a recent sold from eBay and you will notice that the pendulum is supposed to be a little red truck and this clock sold recently for $69.95 with free shipping. I decided to buy the little white individual creamer. I usually have good luck selling these small creamers in my booth, so that's what I'm going to do. I will place this in my booth to sell for about $6. I could not leave behind this beautiful nativity. It is made out of resin, and I'm showing you here how the star lights up. There's just something sweet about this that I just fell in love with in the store and I'm going to keep this in my home and use it every Christmas. And I decided to buy the, I'm thinking this is a vampire, bust. My husband is pretty crafty so he's going to put a wash on this. It's going to bring out the details and give it a little bit more dimension. And I'm going to sell this in my booth during the Halloween season. Thank you everyone for shopping along with me today. I really appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this type of content, if you would please go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye-bye.